And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. A throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Second and ten. Play action now. Here's Mayfield. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And Mayfield again with the interception. His third. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And he's able to bring it up five yards shy of midfield to the 45-yard line. And Charles, you know, it seems like sometimes when you fall down early, there can be a tendency there to try and get it all back in one fell swoop. And that time, that thinking leads to an interception. And I believe you brought up a really good point there, Brandon, because you're trying to force plays, right? You try to get all back in one shot, just as you mentioned there. And you know you're going to need some big plays to get back into the game. But ultimately, you really can't force what isn't there. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. On second down, here's Gibson again, pushing through the contact. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, 